Hey happy bees, it's Amanda and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an art supplies cake. You're going to start out by rolling out some modelling paste about 5mm thick and leave it to the side to dry a little bit while we make our paint pot. To create the paint pot I'm using some purple modelling paste and some happy bee templates. You can find a link in the description below for these templates which includes templates for everything that you'll see in this video. So I've traced a rectangle shape and now I'm using a quilting tool to create some stitching. Brush a tiny bit of water around the outside of the circle. And then you're going to place that rectangle around it and leave the side to dry. Now we're going to use our scissors template and you're going to use that modelling paste that we had rolled out. I find it easier to cut out the templates whenever the modelling paste is slightly dry. So you're going to trace around the outside and I'm using two circle cutters here that are the same size as the circles inside the scissors. I'm going to create a line down the centre and a small bolt. You're going to leave these to the side to dry along with your paint pot overnight. Now this is the next morning and as you can see they've dried out really really well. So I'm just going to trim the bottom part of these scissors and I'm going to use some edible modelling paste. This is the gunmetal shade and I'll put links in the description for all the materials as well. Creating a paintbrush now we're going to use some brown modelling paste and we're going to roll it out into a sausage shape. And you can use the template as a guide to size. And if you like you can insert a barbecue skewer for a little bit of extra support. I'm going to use some white modelling paste now. We're going to create a little indentation in the centre. And we're going to use that same silver edible dust again. Roll some white modelling paste into a teardrop shape. And then we're going to create some indentations to make it look more like a brush. Pop that on top of your brush and if it gets a little bit squished you can play about with it just to get it to the right shape. You're going to create your pencil in exactly the same way so I haven't showed you that part but I'll show you how to create the tip of the pencil. So we're using some light brown modelling paste now and I've rolled it into a cone shape. Now if it's a little bit fat at the bottom you can trim it off and I'm just going to paint a little bit of black on the tip. Now every artist needs a paint palette so I've marbled a little bit of brown fondant here. I do have a video on how to marble fondant, it'll be in that link above. Now you can leave this plain or you can use one of these little rolling pins that has a wood grain in it. Create some paint for your palette by rolling out some fondant into a thin snake piece. And then you're just going to wrap it up into a spiral shape. And of course we need crayons for around the outside. So again I'm using the template as a guide and I'm cutting the crayon to shape. Just looking to see where the tip of the crayon is and I'm going to create an indentation here with a knife. Then I'm going to use my fingers to create a tip at the top of the crayon to make it into a pointed shape. Then that makes the crayon a little bit too long so you can trim it and then just keep working with the shape of the top of the crayon until you've got it to the right size. And this is a great way if you're creating crayons for around the outside of the cake to make sure they're all the same size. And just for a little bit of fun we're going to create some paint splodges for our cake as well. Click this video on your screen now if you want to see more videos just like this one and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.